Hey bitches, it's Nick Snyder, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss Manny MUA allegedly copying and shading his ex-best friend Jeffree Star. If you have not already seen my previous video including Jeffree Star and some Huda Beauty drama, I am going to place a card in the upper right hand corner as well as a link down in the description. If this is your first time on my channel, hello, welcome, how are you doing? If you could please hit the subscribe button down below, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are someone who has been here for a day, a week, a month, or a year, welcome back. If you could please make sure you have all of your notifications set to on by clicking the bell icon somewhere on the screen. Please know that everything I speak on in my videos is my own personal opinion, and opinions are not facts, and please do not send hate to anyone or any brand that I speak on in my videos because that is not what these are meant for. They are meant for us to throw a little shade, spill a little tea, and have a messy time here on the internet. It is no secret that Manny MUA and Jeffree Star have had their sordid past when it comes to their friendship, and there is a good chance that they are never, ever, ever, ever going to be friends once again. Now, Manny MUA is being accused of shading and almost copying Jeffree Star with some of the things that he's been doing lately. As you guys know, Manny MUA has released his Strawberry Dreams palette, which came out, and then Jeffree dropped his thing with Morphe, which is the Strawberry Mist, which actually smells really good. I had the opportunity to smell the Jeffree Star Morphe Mist when I was out in LA, and it actually smells really good. I think I'm to get it because I do use the Morphe setting spray and Manny's palette in Manny's defense I got to hold it in my hand I got to look at it while I do feel like it is the extension of the Life's a Drag palette because if you really look at those colors side by side there are so many that are in the other palette as well it does smell like strawberries as well now rumor has it that the factory that makes little Manny MUA over here makes Jeffree Star and that's maybe someone knows something over there it's like hmm you're gonna be releasing this i'm gonna do something to be a little shady as well they smell exactly alike i don't know if there's only one strawberry scent you can get this isn't like a jacqueline hill type of situation where she's like i was in the lab for two and a half years coming up with a custom blend of play-doh now, going back to the whole Jeffree Star part of this, a lot of people are thinking that Manny MUA is trying to slither his way back into Jeffree's life. Jeffree tweeted out the following. When people only hit you up when they want something. No, bitch. Time to cut you right out. I'm not exactly sure why a lot of people thought that that tweet would be about Manny. Yes, I know they had their past, but technically... Don't y'all think that Manny has already been cut out? I don't think that Manny is going to be hitting Jeffrey up for anything. I feel like that would have been about somebody that maybe wanted to come to the Jeffrey Star and Morphe launch party where they were celebrating everything and they were probably like, hey, can you put me on the list? I don't see that being about Manny because in my eyes, that friendship is done and there is no going back. But you know, while I think that Manny MUA and Jeffree Star's friendship is done and is never going to go back to what it was or even close to what it was, maybe they'll pass each other one day on the street and be like, meh, hello. I do think that Jeffree Star sees his ex-friends out there and he likes to kind of do some things that could be a little shady. I mean, code JSTAR at Morphe for 10% off that's going to be donated to charity. Wink, wink. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I love this look. Thank you, Lipstick Nick. I feel really beautiful this morning. All right, you guys. Um, Hi, good morning. I am still reeling from yesterday i we gotta just sit down and talk for a second okay i don't want to sound like a broken record but i really just want to say thank you again a huge massive thank you i wish i could come through the phone and hug all of you right now yesterday's sales for the morphe collab were so epic bitches shook to the ground and i gotta be real you guys are like jeffrey relax when it's not your own brand and then you don't have control, sometimes you feel a little at ease, uh, a, little, a little nervous, right? I almost said at ease. Bitch, Morphe makes me feel at ease. That's what's so cool. Um, and our partnership is just so perfect and beautiful. But you guys, thank you for breaking records yesterday. I will update you guys all soon. But <sighs> code J star. Bitch, y'all really did that. And I'm so proud of the star family. So thank you. Okay, it's time to go to the office and get some work done, but Morphe's warehouses, you guys, are shipping non-stop. They are getting so many orders out already, so please be patient. The volume was nuts! I only included that clip because at the risk of being kicked off of the payroll, I had to say a huge congratulations to Jeffree Star and his very successful launch with Morphe. <sighs> Now, some people that have been here for a while know that I'm kidding when I say the whole payroll thing, but some people are going to take it seriously. But have no fear, I'm still here to talk some shit. Another reason that people are thinking that Manny MUA is trying to get Jeffree Star's attention and is trying to do anything to get Jeffree to talk about him or just trying to get us to talk about him, I mean, it technically works, so congratulations to Manny for that, is the other day Jeffree Star uploaded a video called We Stayed at the Taco Bell Hotel, which one... I'm extremely jealous of because right before I did this video, I had some Taco Bell. Taco Bell is like my favorite thing ever. If I'm ever in Palm Springs again, I have to go to the Taco Bell Hotel. I'm just saying it in this video, putting it into the universe, I am going to go there one day. But the same day, Manny MUA tweeted this out. I'm craving something healthy. Hmm. 
Taco Bell. Here's my thought on that whole tweet that went out. Jeffree Star's video was almost number one trending on YouTube. It was also trending on Twitter that Jeffree Star was at the Taco Bell Hotel. I think that Manny was just trying to put Taco Bell in his tweet because that's going to get picked up by the algorithm over there on Twitter. People were going to see it. He was going to get a little bit of attention. He's going to get people talking. I don't think that he was trying to get Jeffrey to talk about him in that sense. I don't even know why Jeffrey would pay attention to that tweet because honestly, in my opinion, it was harmless. But I do think that he was just trying to get a little bit of attention over there on the Twitter. What is your opinion about Manny MUA and Jeffree Star? Do you think that they are always going to go back and forth and try to shade each other? Do you think that they're always going to try to copy each other's products and have one of them do it much better than the other one? Or do you think that this is just a few coincidences that people are looking for tits on the ant on? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below, and now let's talk about some drama that happened at the Jeffree Star Morphe party. Y'all, I had quite the eventful trip out to LA. I met so many amazing people, I had such a good time, but of course, where there is a good time, there is always going to be some form of drama. So my friend Loey Lane invited myself, Dustin Daly, his boyfriend, as well as Rich Lux to an event that she was hosting. And of course, we went. Now, if you guys have been on this channel for a while, then you know that I have never really had much to say about Cole Kerrigan. I kind of told you guys that I don't ever want to speak about Cole Kerrigan because I don't vibe with him. And I don't want it to come off as I'm just being this big old asshole because I know how that looks online and I didn't want it to be that way. So I kind of just steer away from talking about him. But it looks like Cole wanted to be the topic of one of my videos. Now, originally, I wasn't even going to discuss this. I was kind of like, you know what? This is what he wants. He wants a video made about him. He wants to be in the drama because it will send people to his channel and he'll get a few views. Now, he has been getting a little bit of views lately. Let's give him a little bit of credit because, you know, he faked that whole drama with Team 10 and pretended that he was really kicked out, tried to, like, go after everyone, all that kind of stuff. So I'm at this event with Dustin and everyone, and all of a sudden, <laughs> here comes Cole Kerrigan, who decided that he was going to keep giving us dirty looks. And mind you... He was over there talking to Rich with Eden the doll. That's fine. That's great. That's good. No one cares. We're not paying any mind to Cole Kerrigan. I don't like Cole Kerrigan, but I'm not going to go out of my way to make someone feel uncomfortable out in a public space, if you guys know what I mean. So from across the party, you see Cole and the friends over there giving us these kind of like stank looks. So obviously, you know, we're probably the topic of conversation. So I'm like, let's go to the other room because I don't have time for this. They're inching closer to us. We're inching away. Like, this is not going to be a thing. This is Loey's event. I'm not going to cause a scene. I don't want someone to cause a scene with me. And honestly, you know, as drama channels, it is to be expected that people will come up to you at some point. It's just like with celebrities that go up to like TMZ and all that. They are upset that you do talk about them and they are the topic of conversation. That's another video. But we go to the other room and here comes Cole and his friends and he's doing the stank eye up and down the whole way. You would have thought that his upper lip smelled like like shit because the look on his face was just atrocious. So immediately after Cole Kerrigan decided to give us this dirty look, Dustin tweeted out the following. My favorite part of tonight was when at Cole Kerrigan gave me and Nick Snyder the stink face as he walked by us. And then Cole tweeted out the following. I'm so sick of just trying to live my life with nothing but love and positive energy. Bullshit. And people just constantly trying to tear me down and make negative stories about me. It's hurtful as so I then retweeted that and quoted it and said, uh, you know, you're lying, basically. I called him a liar. He then blocked me on Twitter. And then I go to the Jeffree Star Morphe launch party. And I'm just standing there minding my own business with a few friends. And oh, I overhear from in my left ear, I overhear Cole and Hillary. I think her name is Hillary Montez. I can't I'm probably saying that completely wrong. It's Gigi's makeup artist, I believe. I overhear him telling her like, oh my God, he's a drama channel. I don't know why he's here. He's boring. He gets no views. All he does is talk about me, all this kind of stuff. And then they both like turn around and look at me and I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, Ooh, I'm standing like by a bush in a tree. So I'm pretty sure you're talking about me. I pay no mind to it. I don't care. Cole, I don't care. Like you can say what you want about me. Obviously you have been pressed a few times now that you have seen me out. You probably never thought that you would see myself or Dustin out anywhere, which is, hmm, yeah, well, probably because we're never in LA. I'll give you that one. But girl, what happened next was uh, a mess. So I had just gotten done talking to Shane Dawson, you know, as one does whenever they go out to a party. And all of a sudden, like through the crowd comes this like little like cre like a gecko. It's almost like a gecko, like shivering over to me. It's Cole Kerrigan. And I'm standing there with a few friends again. And he introduces himself to me and is like, you're Nick, right? And I was like, Yes, that would be me. Hello, how are you? How you doing? It's great to see you. And he starts going on to his spiel about how he doesn't know who I am. He didn't know what I looked like at the party. This must be a misunderstanding, all of this kind of stuff. And then he's like, I really get the feeling that you don't like me. And 
if you've been here on my channel for a while, then you guys know I have always said that I do not like coal and I don't talk about coal because I just, I don't vibe with it. I don't want to come off that way. So me being a smart ass and knowing everything that he's done over the past few days that I have been in LA, I said, it's my job not to like you. To which he then goes, what, 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 what? like starts freaking out. And I was like, look, girl, it's not a big deal. I do my job. I speak about people. I call stuff out on Twitter all the time. It's nothing against you personally. Like, girl, come on. And of course, that is just paraphrasing because I'm not exactly sure what I said to him. The point I'm trying to get across is that I didn't say anything rude to him other than like, it's my job not to like you, which I was being sarcastic, of course. But Cole, you were being very aggressive at that party. A lot of people thought that because you kept inching closer to me. I was not backing up. I don't know why you were in your feelings. I'm not sure exactly what was involved. But girl, it is nothing at the end of the day. No one is sitting here thinking on how to take cold down. We just talk about what you do on occasion. Not on this channel, really, because I have told people that I don't like you and I don't want to talk about you, so you're safe in that boat. But there have been things that you have done, like with the Team 10, that people want to talk about. You are up an up-and-coming public figure. If you could get a better attitude, you'd probably be a little bit more successful. It's just a little bit of advice that I would give you. But a lot of people at that party thought that you were being aggressive. So maybe you should save the drama for another time. You would be surprised the people that came up to me and asked me about that situation after they saw you walk away from me. So that's just a little bit of advice to secure your future in the beauty realm because nobody likes a messy bitch. So guys, that is it for this video in the drama sense, but I do have a few questions before I end this video completely. One, I receive a lot of comments about how you guys like the voiceovers the best and you guys like when I get straight to the point and that's why you're here for this. But there's also a group of people that enjoy like my rants, like my car vlog rants. Now, obviously I don't want to talk about the same subject twice on this one channel. So what I was thinking is, since I have another channel, if you guys are interested and you have to let me know down below, I have this channel where I can do the voiceovers and really get to the point and keep that what this channel is about. I then have the second channel where I was thinking about doing my car vlog rants where I could be like a little bit more out there, say what's on my mind, I can curse up a storm and everything, but really give my in-depth opinion on a certain situation. So if you guys would like that, I am going to put the link to it down below, but definitely let me know in the comments as well. And a second is... I know on this channel before I've had some things to say about BoxyCharm, and I have said that they have not treated their influencers good, but BoxyCharm is really trying to get back in there with me because I don't, actually I don't know why they're trying to get back in with me, but they keep sending me their box, and I can't keep receiving this box without doing anything with it. So should I give BoxyCharm another chance and tell you guys about it? Obviously, obviously not like, oh my god, go spend your money here, blah, 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 but should I make the effort to talk about BoxyCharm on this channel when I do receive it? Because I know there are some of my subscribers that really do enjoy BoxyCharm. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on that down below. And with that said, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are happy that voiceovers are back. They are here for a while because I'm not going anywhere, at least for a few weeks. And yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything. I love you bitches, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.